What's up everybody, Cats007 and today bring you guys some forward gameplay and in this gameplay I want to go over some of the things I think about while playing forward. I feel like a lot of people should have this mentality and you know when you're learning to play forward like someone like me who's experienced, you want to think about these things when you're playing and this video is for those who are starting out forward so you have a good mindset. So starting off, I always want to make sure that when I'm kiting as forward, I don't want to get touched. Now, unfortunately, I get, I don't, no, I didn't get here. I uh, dashed right through it. But, you know, as a sculptor, you know, I went against a lot of top sculptors like I Alien, KKZ. And what they would like to do is they want to chase you as forward because, you know, forward is a chaseable option. So when you're playing forward, you have to last ideally, let's say, 70 seconds, 80 seconds as forward because you do have that football. Now, kiting a forward is not easy. A lot of people think it is. Oh my god, use your football, go to every pallet. Now, it's a lot technical than that. And I feel like new forward mains will know what I'm saying. Because, you know, when you're kiting a forward, it's a little bit hard, a little bit challenging. You know, you want to waste too much football. How much football do you want to waste? You know? So, when you're playing forward and you know they're going to commit on you, if they're going to commit to you, you can waste that football. You know? But if they're not going to commit, try to not use too much football. Try to save it for late game. You know? Like I said... It's not all about just going for stuns and stuff like that. You gotta stay alive. Keep remember, just remember, keep in mind, you were also a rescuer. And right now, I am the only rescuer on the team. There's a cowboy, there's a seer, and a mechanic. Possibly the mechanic has Ty Turner, but theoretically, I'm the only rescuer on the team and slash harasser. But I cannot afford to get smacked or down because who's gonna rescue? And then next thing you know, if I go down, right? If I go down as a rescuer, Who's going to save me? And then I'm just going to get farmed off a chair. You know? So when you're playing forward, have the mentality of just trying to stay alive for as long as you can. Or the hunter's just going to leave you. So teleport pops up. You know? But if they're going to commit to you, you better stay alive. And the standard that you want to last is possibly around 70 to 80 seconds. Use the football to transition to better areas. For example, like the sculptor. Uh, she benefits from tight areas. So, you know, you can dash area to area and just constantly transition to stay alive. Now, I'm not going to say the Seer said uh, he was coming, so I'm like, okay, I'm just going to decode. Now, with forward, if I'm playing with a mercenary in my team comp, when I'm playing a prodigy, we usually have like a mercenary or another rescuer. Forward never rescues first. And I'll tell you why. You always want to finish a cypher, and then you can legit harass for another cypher where he teammate decodes it. So always try to finish your cypher. So unfortunately, the uh, Seer did not have um, Tide Turner. Which is big because, you know, he could have got farmed off a chair. I don't know how this year rescue. He did an amazing rescue. Probably uh, took the hit, transitioned to the cowboy, and then gave the owl. So now I'm looking. I can go harass. I'm just walking around for a bit. Now, the aspect of harassing. You have to know when to go for your stuns because it can cost your team pretty, you know, a detrimental game. You can go from a draw to a loss just because of what you're doing as forward. So I'm going to do something really risky. He's on balloons. I'm going to go for this stun here. Now, I know the hunter's looking back at me. I do a little 360, turn around, and stun. St things like that are super risky, and you don't want to always pull off. Like, you're not supposed to go for stuns like that unless you know what you're doing. For example, like, you know the hunter's going to swing. You do a little 360, yada, yada, yada. But keep in mind the mentality of forward. If I go for that hit, who's going to save right afterward, you know? You are a big, big importance to your team. And you can't afford to go down. My apologies for the maintenance thing. But um, always keep in mind that you are a rescuer. You are very important. And try to stay alive as long as possible. If you're going to go for a rescue, you know, make sure you're full health. And just something to think about is forward. I'll have you guys some more videos later. I'll catch you guys later. I'm Cats7. I set my intro backwards. <laughs> and I'll catch you all later. Bye.